Uh, special teams in, in a game like this, I know you're focused on LSU right now, but with the game against Alabama, just flipping field position in, in your position is key, right? Just how much emphasis do you think that will be? And, and every yard really counts in a game like this, right? Oh, yeah. When, when two uh, defenses like ours and theirs come together, it's always about you know having the field as long as possible, making them get on offense as many first downs as they possibly can to score a touchdown because you know longer fields equals more first downs in order to score so you know obviously a field position battles can be a huge part of this game have you guys seen uh, maybe an example earlier this season where hidden yards made all the difference um, I think the Miami game was a pretty big deal um, if I recall they might have netted 31 or 32 yards in that game and we had probably a 44, 43 yard net. And that's, you know, anything over 10 yards is a huge advantage when you're talking in terms of field position per punt, a 10 yard advantage per punt. And uh, I felt like that game, given us short fields and them long fields, made it very difficult for them to score. So the, the Miami game is the first one probably comes to mind. Uh, but, but yeah, that, that game was a, 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 it was a factor for sure. It gave Cole, like I said, we needed like a first down and Cole kicked the field goal. And he, that happened maybe three or four times in that game. And I'm, if I'm not mistaken, he might have made four or five field goals. So, yeah, it was, it was a huge part of that game. How do you try and explain that in layman's terms to, to fans that, you know, they see the offense, they see the defense, you know what I mean? How do you, how do you explain the value of hitting yards, especially in a game like this? Uh, well, you know, a huge one that we haven't really, we've been pretty fortunate with uh, our punt returner who catches the ball. Uh, he's very good at that. Yeah, he catches it and falls down sometimes, and people may get frustrated at that. But when it's a 33-yard punt, a guy catches the ball, it's a huge play, and the ball doesn't roll another 15, 20 yards. Because you see that all over college football. Guys in traffic don't feel comfortable catching or fielding the ball, and the ball hit, and it'll kick and roll, you know, and give, you know, give them a great punt. A 33-yard punt all of a sudden turned into a 50-yard punt because the ball rolled 17 yards. And uh, But, man, we've had a, we've had a punt returner that will catch the ball and prevent that from happening, and that's been a, a, played a huge role in our field position battle. Talk about this bye week. I mean, how nice has it kind of been for you guys to be able to kind of take a step back, and um, what have you kind of been focusing on during this bye week? Uh, you know, we, we've had one practice so far, and it was it was uh, light just to kind of let guys heal because, uh, you know, we play eight straight games and SEC schedule things. People get beat up, and, and you know, we've had, you know, ample time to get, get ready and uh, prepare and, like I said, heal. And uh, today we'll have, you know, a good practice. And But, yeah, it, up until today we've, we've been taking it easy, watching film, making sure guys are, are, are getting ready to, to play, getting, you know, mentally prepared and physically prepared to play about, you know, a battle in two weeks uh, against Alabama. But, uh, yeah, it's 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 weird because uh, you get in a routine of you know Monday through Saturday doing something every day in you know, the same way, same preparation, you know, week in week out, and all of a sudden it's like okay, we're gonna dial it back. The schedule is completely different, and just kind of you feel out of whack a little bit. But at the same time, it's nice to have a change up after eight weeks of playing. You uh, switching from your current sport to your old sport. There's a uh, former baseball player that's now playing basketball for LSU. Have you uh, talked to Will Reese at all about what the transition's like from, to a different sport? Or? Uh, I haven't. Uh, I heard about it a couple, I think it was about a month ago, but no, I, I haven't had a chance to talk to him. I'd like to, just to, just to hear what he has to say, but no, I, I haven't talked to Will at all about uh, his transition over to basketball.